Good morning, good morning. Good energy. Good energy. Smile. Laugh. Y'all got your New Year band now? Your headband? Ladies, y'all got your Happy New Year? I'm already ready. I'm already in 2021. I've been in 2021 since last month. Where you at? All right. So every year, we all say the same thing. But half of y'all don't even do what y'all say y'all gonna do. What's a new year if you still gonna do the same old things in the old year, in the past year? What's a new year if you gonna have the same stinking thinking? What's a happy new year if you still mourning, crying over spilled milk? Come on, y'all gotta get in grind mode. Y'all talking about y'all wanna, y'all gonna be losing weight. Y'all gonna be losing weight. And y'all not doing nothing. It's not that hard to lose weight. All you gotta do is eat for your blood type. All you got to do is change your eating, but no. You got to keep having what you like. You call it a diet. You don't call it a lifestyle change. I need y'all to get serious about your life. Y'all y'all be like, oh, I'm going to get the product. I'm going to lose weight. I have it for you. Let me know and I'm shipping it out to you. But stop saying the same old shit that you ain't doing you've been saying the same thing for the past five years and have you done anything yet oh i'm gonna work on my credit oh i'm gonna get a house some of y'all props to y'all y'all doing y'all thing but some of y'all is just like a broken record y'all just like this beat and ain't doing nothing with it y'all not putting no words to the beat so my thing is ask yourself look in the mirror what am i gonna do this year different what am i gonna do in 2021 different that i did didn't do in 2020 you want different you got to do different so what is what you gonna do are you gonna be serious about your health or are you gonna detox are you gonna be serious about getting your credit fixed i know so many people that is helping others with credit it's no joke it ain't hard listen this year i started with a my, my credit was in the 400s 500s that shit is in the, the 600s going on the way to the sevens and I could share how I did that. What are y'all up for? Are y'all up for learning how I did that? Or y'all know everything already? And this is the main thing I need y'all to stop saying. Just shut up about this. Oh, I'm cutting a lot of people off this year. Shut the fuck up. You ain't cutting nobody off. That person gonna text you. You gonna be in. You'll get your whole bag or you'll spend the night bag. You gonna get your spend the night bag. And you gonna be right back at his house. You got to get some self-control. You got to get a journal and actually write down the pros and cons. You actually got to write it down and see it to actually do it. So stop saying you cutting people off. Because granted, there is some connections that are complete. Change the verbiage. You are completing some connections in your life. You serve. You, you both don't serve each other in each other's life no more. Y'all did everything y'all needed to do with each other or for each other. The chapter is closed. Now you can move on, but you can move on with clean hands and a pure heart and the right mind. You keep going into the new year. Oh, I cut this girl off because she was funny acting. She wasn't funny acting. She just got enlightened with some stuff she had to get awakened of. She realized that she, she realized her worth. She realized that y'all friendship wasn't a real friendship. Y'all wasn't adding value to each other. You see this water is full? Listen. Imagine it's empty. This is you. This is her. She's full. You're empty. You was draining her. Or you was draining him. So as she's pouring all into you, what she got? Y'all supposed to be friends. Friendship, y'all use that word loosely too. Y'all gotta stop using that word. You gotta earn that word with me. Other than that, you associate. I see you around. I say hi. It's cordial. But you ain't my friend. I don't call you. I don't cry to you. I don't ask you to pray for me. So y'all gotta know the difference from a friend and an associate. And you actually gotta know who's a wolf in your circle. And actually who's the sheep. Cause if you're not a wolf, somebody praying on you. I love what my coach said, yo Mimi, you got the dog in you. 
I was like, what? You calling me a dog? He was like, no, you just hungry. You get out there, you do what you gotta do. You say you're gonna do it, you do it. I give you, um, you take down a whole bunch of notes and you do what's on your notes. Listen, shout out to my coach, William Winfield. He taught me a lot and I'm still learning because I'm always a student before I'm a leader. But there's some things y'all gotta change. You gotta change the verbiage. You're not cutting people off. You're just completing cycles. You're just completing connections. You're completing chapters. The connection is done. You no longer serve each other in each other's lives. Just say thank you to each other and move on. Maybe someday y'all come back around and y'all make, make a tight knit relationship, friendship, whatever, partnership. Sometimes you meet somebody at the, at the wrong time. You can meet the right person at the wrong time. You can. You can meet the wrong person, the right person at the wrong time. And what I mean by that, you guys may be in love with each other, the heart, but your mind's still not right. And when your mind not right, your heart not right. Because your heart, if your heart and your mind is not working together, because these are two powerful things, the heart and the mind, your thoughts and your heart. Oh, if they not getting along, you're going to be this way, that way, all over the place. So you need to actually work on you. A lot of y'all saying this year, oh, 2021, I'm going to work on me. I'm going to work on me. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do my mind, body, and soul. And haven't did nothing yet. Haven't did no research. Haven't no prep. Y'all don't even read books. Like, come on. Pick up a book and read. It's not that hard to pick up a book and read. And if anybody is reading a good book right now, I'm looking for a new book to read. So hit me with the what books you read in. You can put it in, the, in this uh, comment right here. You can put it in the comments. I want to read a new book. I like reading. I learn more from reading. But I need y'all to start doing what you say you're going to do. Granted, that's your life. That's your business. I'm just out here trying to be a, a messenger to help you out. A lot of y'all is, all you do is talk, talk, talk. But not doers. How is it, in a, in a word, um... Don't be uh, hearers or seers of the word. Be doers of the word. So basically, whatever you see in here, do it. Stop being scared. Literally. Literally. The edge is right here. And you on that edge. And you looking at everybody. Do what they want to do. You're looking at everybody. Oh, she got the house. She did her credit. Oh, they they working out together. Oh, that's a good couple. They, they doing that together. They're helping each other. They're not arguing. They actually talking things out. Oh, oh. And you just looking. That's all you doing. At the edge, just looking. When you really need to be is like, you need to jump. You need to take a leap of faith. A lot of y'all scared. And when you scared, you don't get nowhere in life. You let fear overcome everything that you should be doing right now. There's a lot of places that you should have been right now. You are where you at because of your mindset and your fears. Exactly. You are where you at because of your mindset or your fears. What brought you to the place you're at right now? Your passion or your fears? I'm scared. I don't want to do that. I'm comfortable here. You know, I don't I don't want to move out of the town. I don't want to move from my, my town. This is all I know. I'm comfortable here. You keep being comfortable. You keep being comfortable. I like being uncomfortable because uncomfortableness, it, it pushes me to want more. Being uncomfortable makes me to stretch more. Yeah, it was uncomfortable when I left my job at first. I, but I needed those months to myself. I needed the months to get to know me again. And you're going to keep knowing, getting to know yourself. Because we change. Everybody change. We always say the joke, oh, we change like the weather. Right now, I think the weather been, you know, real, you know, steady. I don't think it been changing. I think the weather is what it is. People are the only ones I know that could change like this. It either be a mask or be the true them. So when a person show you who they are, believe them the first time. But just stop talking and start doing. You want to lose weight? Contact me. I got the products to help you. I got the solution. You just got to do it. Ladies, you want to get thick? I got the solution. You just got to do it. And shout out to the ones that did get the products and did everything I told them to do. They be hitting me up like, yo, I'm thick. Da, 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 da. I got this. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Because y'all did what I told you to do. And you got the results. So, remember, we ain't cutting nobody off. We just closing connections. We completing connections. We going into the new year with a new mindset. With a new mindset. Can you do that for me? Can y'all go in the new year with a new mindset? Can y'all go in smiling? Can y'all go in happy? Come on, I told y'all I'm ready. I've been in 2021 last month. 
What y'all doing? My goal was to slim down. I had belly fat. Y'all laughing, talking about, oh, Mimi, you was always, body was always, no. I posted a video when I was skinny, like a toothpick. Then I showed the, uh, the picture when I was getting, you know, big. I had back fat. Like, come on now. Then that's my personal opinion on how I, I want my body. It ain't bought, baby. This is well work. This is discipline. This is detoxing every morning. Got my detox coffee. This is drinking water every day. I could go up from three to four bottles a day. That's just for me. How are you? My refrigerator is full up with more beverages than it is food. So I'd rather drink. That's just me. But my skin look nice. But anyway, I just need y'all to change your verbiage. You ain't cutting nobody off. You completing connections. That you're closing chapters. You're closing cycles. You actually gonna do what you say you gonna do. You gonna work on your credit this year. Come on now. I need y'all to clap for yourselves. You working on your credit in 2021. You getting that house in 2021. You getting your child in the school that you say you gonna get them in. Come on now. You moving out of that place where you were so comfortable at. Come on now. You moving to a whole different state. Come on now. You loving you some more. You learning your self worth. Come on. Clap for yourself. What are you doing? You getting that new position. You getting that new job. You starting that business. You writing that book. Come on. Congratulations. Start clapping now. Start being grateful now. Start being thankful now. That's how I'm so blessed. Because I thank God in advance. Everything I want, I get. Everything I want, I get. I manifest everything I want. I manifest connections. I manifest things. I manifest money. I'm a money magnet. Get you some mantras. Money and opportunities flows to me abundantly and frequently. What's your mantras? What's your I am's? I am a champion. I am strong. I am pure. I am loved. I am love. Y'all, y'all keep searching for love, baby. You need to search for love within you. You are love. Just, just give it out. People need love so bad. And that love could just be a smile. So what are your I am's? What are your mantras? What are your go-to's when you down and you sad? Do you go to the beach? Do you go, go for a walk? Or you go to drugs? You go to sex? You go to the phone to gossip? Man, 2021 gonna be a great year. Yeah, we lost a lot in 2020. I lost my aunt. I lost my stepdad. I lost, you know, uh, a dear friend. I, I'm gonna miss hearing his voice. Mimi, twerk something. You know, what? USPS come down here now? That's weird. So we lost some, but we gained some. All right? So don't take it as a loss. Just, you know, mourn the way you mourn. Grieve how you grieve. But just know you are still alive and you still have to work on your legacy. They worked on their legacy. They don't have to worry about COVID-19 no more. They don't gotta worry about none of this stuff, but you do. So focus on what you gonna get done in 2021. Later, I love you all.